Ooh. This is Big J for real. Yeah, your boy is in again. Yeah, it's been unfortunate. I've been out of the system for a while. I'm trying to put in some one or two videos for you guys. You know how we do it. Yeah, today I'm in again with a big question. I've realized that a lot of people don't really understand art. But I want to find out what do you think about art? What do you know about art? Do you have any knowledge about art? If you do, just drop your comment out there. So, this is how it is. Everywhere we go in the world, we see beautiful things. Architectural design, painting, oil painting, pencil, shading, and all stuff like that. These are art. Art talks about beauty. But ask yourself, you see a lot of beautiful paintings, but you don't really know the reason why they are there. You see a lot of statues, but you don't know even the meaning of it. So today, let's hit the road and ask two or three people their concept about art. What do they know about art? If you are in with me, let's go. Hello, lovely people. I'm Nancy. And then I'm here to talk about whatever I know about art. For me, I think art is a way people express their thinking, their way of thinking, things going through their mind, their creative skills and all. I feel even the dress I'm wearing right now is a form of an art. This thing right here is a form of an art. Everything that we see around us is art because someone thought about it and it came into existence. So... Art is beautiful, they are nice, they are the things we use daily in our lives. Would I buy an art? Yes, I would buy. <laughs> so far as the other things around me, like my clothes and all that, yes, it's beautiful, I'll buy. But would I purchase a drawing, a painting? That is where I get a bit <laughs> not buying because is it a picture about me? Is it a picture about some, someone I love? Or is it a picture about something I love to do? I would definitely purchase it. I don't see it to be telling me stories. I'm not an art person. But if it's something that attracts me, that is beautiful, I would definitely buy it. So that is all I know about art. Thanks. See you later. All right. So yo, yo, guys, I go by the name Craig and my definition of an art is um, is an expression, a creative expression of how people think, their imagination, and yes, it's a it's a way of expressing what you're going through. Because I know most of these artists have inspiration about nature, about what they go through, about how they see life. That's how they express it into art. You know, so that's my. Um, my perception about art and also the reason why I would like to buy an artwork is one one is my it's about beauty you know when it, when I when, when I'm talking about art I, I like nature you know I like nature a lot so when I see how some artists express their yeah, um, express themselves through nature by putting it in an art form it's 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 it really gets me so I would like to buy an art one because of the way I like nature and two for business purposes because business purposes because you know I know some arts can when you have like an original art for from an artist and you keep it for some time it's appreciate artwork always appreciate so you can keep it now you can buy an artwork for let's say a thousand dollars but then for the next 10 or 20 years to come you can sell the same Adware for maybe a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand, you know. So that's one. Th that's my second reason why I will buy an artwork. Yeah. What's going on? This is Kwame, and I am live on Jay's Art Channel. If you haven't subscribed, bro, please go out there and show love. I mean, love is love. Click, subscribe, share, and let's have fun, man. All right. Back to the question, homie asked me. I love the question, and why do i like or why do i love art uh that's the question right yep okay all right so now art is 
special. That particular platform is so special because I don't know too much about art, but when I see something that is beautiful and the story behind it is so catchy, it, I mean, I'm related to that kind of a story, I might go in and purchase that particular artwork. Uh, they have different kinds of artwork, painting, uh, oil painting and all those stuff, but everyone comes at it comes with its storyline you know so if the storyline goes with mine definitely i'll flow with that i'll buy regardless so my idea of art it depends on the story behind it you understand if the storyline is not that nice uh -uh, you know i'm gonna go the other way because sometimes the painting sometimes uh, i don't understand it doesn't make sense to you to me but the storyline makes all sense that is why i'll go in and buy art that's why i like art what do i know about art in general i would say art is something or anything that stirs up your emotion or anything that appeals to your sense of uh, feeling or creativity for example if you look at different forms of art through music painting coloring uh video you know art comes in different ways uh, architecture designs a lot of things and then you just look at all these things and then you'll be like, wow, this is beautiful. This is nice. I feel like that is the feeling. That is art. So it will be very difficult to define. But in a simple way, I would say anything that stirs up your emotion is art. Why would I buy an artwork? I would buy any form of artwork because I feel like these artworks tell stories. For example, if you look at an architecture, you look, like a, you look at a building or a design and you are like, why did they build this thing this way? Or if you look at a painting, a simple painting can tell lots of stories. And then if you are someone who really feels like these stories are relatable, then of course, no matter how much it costs, you end up buying it. Also, I think art is beautiful. So what happens is that for many people, they use art to decorate their homes. You know, they put art in on the walls and, you know, everywhere in their homes or offices. It has become a part of us. And so because of the beauty, people buy art as well. And I, I can also buy art because I think it's beautiful. It looks nice. It appears very nice. And I think that if I add it to uh, where I live or if I place it somewhere close to me, it will just bring out the beauty of the place. One other thing is also for memory. So you look at different forms of art. For example, I'll mention like a statue or a sculpture work. People really like create these things in place of people that they've lost or legends or people that are like his, that have their names in history. You know, why do they do that? It's because we want to make sure that we see them every time. So anytime we look at this sculpture, it could also be a painting for me. My favorite painting is my mom's uh, painting that was given to me, uh, given to me as a birthday gift, and that was painted by Jay Arts. Why is it memory? Because I lost her, and anytime I look at that picture or that painting, I feel like she's here with me. So yeah, these are the reasons. And I love art. So for any price, I think that the value is what is most important. Hello, guys. Um, my name is Shelby. And the first question I have is, what is art or what do I know about art? Um, I think art is not a thing, but it is a way of expressing oneself. Like, I can express myself through art. I can draw something or do something. So that's a form of art. Okay, why would I buy an artwork? Mostly, um, I would buy an artwork because it's attractive. You know, for example, like, when you see something for the first time, it has to draw your attention, right? So I feel like if it's attractive enough or if it speaks to me in a different way, you know, there are people who say that, oh, art speaks to me or this painting speaks to me. We don't understand them, <laughs> but they understand more because they are painting, they are painters or they are artists, you know, it's, it's more in their language than arts. But I feel like, well, I would buy an artwork or I would buy a painting or anything um, relating to art um because it's attractive or it's really nice for example my type of mm. artwork or that i like or the paintings that i would like are like abstract paintings you know the ones that people don't really understand like um the famous um painters or artists like van gogh or um, da vinci all those people 
so sometimes they paint those things and they don't really like people don't understand like oh why that's a plus splash of paint or whatever you know and i just feel like if you really understand or if you really get to get the meaning of the painting or if the artist explains it to you then you fall in love with it so i also feel like i would buy like an artwork or a painting because of the good story that comes from the artist like why he painted it or where his thoughts were or his understanding of the picture and then that's like you can sell that to me like and buy it <laughs> and um another reason would be um i don't know just for support like i would also want to support like there are a lot of people like upcoming artists who are painting and drawing and everything and I, if i see something that has potential and then i would obviously buy the artwork just to support them as well and the other one is why i would want to buy an artwork is like um, for memories yeah like um i would want to make a portrait of my family like my mom and dad my brother and my sister and i would want to keep that you know like for an old time from a long time ago and i would want to keep that like in the future for example if they pass away or anything happens and then i would like my my kids or whatever in the future like if I have kids, my kids to also like you know like see that and i would also buy art or i would make my own like paintings of myself like of my younger self and i would like to see that when i grow up like the how I evolved from, you know, from my the younger me to the older me. So I just feel like art is a way of expressing oneself and especially us humans, like it's a creative way of um, putting our emotions into one big ball and, you know, put it, giving it out to the world or to the community or anywhere we are going to, to put it. So I think art is really like, we, we live around art like every day every everything that we do is a form of art hey beautiful family uh how y'all doing uh my name is feggy i'm right here on j arts channel today we're going to have an interesting conversation i hope um you guys enjoy it um i'm a youtuber and my youtube channel is feggy chan tv so y'all kindly search me out on youtube um like my videos watch them share subscribe do whatever you want to do with it all right so now let's start um art is beautiful art is nature you know what i mean and we as individuals well we we see it as you know we see it as just like i said we see it as something you know something beautiful you know uh like something naturally beautiful you know what i mean no artificials no fix just you know naturally beautiful you know what i mean and then um people also have you know gift you know for making art you know what i mean so um i think art is something that um i would say it's not a bad idea for you know for an individual to spend you know a huge amount of money to purchase it you know what i mean you know every art got you know something special you know attached to it yeah so I think um, for someone that has, you know, a gift or a talent in making art, I think, you know, like it's really, you know, makes sense, you know, for an individual to, you know, like, you know, bring up money and then go purchase, you know, an art made by, you know, someone who has a gift of making art. So, yeah, I think, you know, Art is something that it's worth, worth you know, purchasing, no matter how, you know, how expensive or how cheap it is. So, art is art, yeah.